you want me to do? I'll be what you want me to be. Women on a Lakeisha Marion and Leslie Mitchell. Women on assignment. Now, ladies, I've been asked this question. Mm -hmm. What qualifies you to feel that you are qualified to even talk on the topics that we've talked about? You know, we've talked about money. We've talked about assets. We've talked about credit. We've talked about investments. What do you think qualifies you because what I was a little taken aback when I was asked that question <laughs> <laughs> I'm not oh my. <laughs> all right so who wants to who wants to go first well I'm Leslie Mitchell and I think um, for me what qualifies me not necessarily what qualifies me but when it comes to credit um, it was just something that I grew up learning about both of my parents were in the financial industry they were in the banking industry and especially my father he always talked to us about ensuring that our credit um, was in a good position and he always told us that you know you don't even have to have money but if you have great credit you can almost get anything you want in this country and you know at a young age that always instilled that in me paying your bills on time you know don't spend money that you don't necessarily have um you know just being a good steward over your money so i grew up um in that background understanding about credit but um as life happens to people you know things happen when you grow up and uh, i went from having you know excellent credit having like a 780 credit score to having like a 564 569 credit score so having to try to figure out how to dig myself out of that and understanding the principles when it talks about money and credit, um, I began to, to really look for ways and avenues to get myself out of that hole. And in the process, began to educate myself when it came to credit and understanding the power that it has over that it, that it can have. So that's one of the things that kind of you know qualifies me because I, I've done the work and um, I know how to help other people do the work to, to, to bring themselves out of that financial bondage when you're talking about your credit. Because that's really what it is. It's like being in bondage, basically. Okay, so I have a question. So how did you transcend your experience into the passion for the people to help other people? Uh, you weren't selfish. No, I was not selfish. <laughs> <laughs> because I just believe that, um, you know, my background is in training and development, and I was in corporate America for about 20 years in a training and development um, mm -hmm background so I always had a knack for training and helping people and um, when I left corporate America and started my own consulting business doing the same thing so it just kind of fit hand in hand to be able to educate and empower people you know on financial matters you know because uh, you know as a believer as, as you're a Christian and you're, and you're in the church and you know we hear a lot of times you know our mind it also comes to your mindset because a lot of times because we're saved and we're believers sometimes people think you can't live in process you can't live in abundance you can't you know you can't have wealth you can't have the finer Ooh. things you know we have to have this poverty mindset but um so just really being able so god placed it in my heart to want to be able to you know really to educate you know the body of christ and educate people in general that we don't have to live you know 
um, you know, below our means. We don't have to, you know, think that people are going to say, oh, how they live in this nice house, how they drive this nice car, you know, all those things. Um, because you can have, a, a, you know, you can live in abundance and um, do right by your money and your finances. So I wanted to be able to kind of, you know, educate people and help people understand that and not feel guilty about, you know, we serve a big God, why don't we live? You know the, the life that we want right, right. Why don't we do the life that we want to live yes right. so that's kind of why i i started you know being that in the awesome. industry that 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 does that for people that is yeah. thank you for sharing lakeisha marion yeah okay so i know i know you have heard you know so many different stories you've done yes. so many different things in the community you've helped um women empowerment and you even put on your own seminar so tell us a little bit your background, you know, what gave you that um and that passion to just want to go out there, help other women and transform people's lives. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I don't really know where to start from. <laughs> that was a loaded question. Yes. Yes. But I know I can really sum it all up. Okay. Well, hello, you guys. I am Lakeisha Mary from the Pompano Beach, Florida area. And I just want to share what gave me the passion was um, growing up as a little girl, kind of different from Leslie, you know, growing up as a little girl, um, my mother was a single parent yeah. where well, she had three kids. Um, I didn't meet my dad till I was 18 years old. So I saw her wow. going through the struggle the struggle of actually raising three kids and mm -hmm. I always wanted more. Okay. So um, I can tell you without having a father figure in my life, I did make some bad decisions, you know, kind of, you know, hanging out, doing bad, you know, just hanging out at the club and just kind of going the wrong direction. Sometimes when you're looking for love in all the wrong places, but I would oh, see my mother. Yeah. yeah. That's a whole nother, that's, that's a whole nother. Yes. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> so I can tell you, I'm just seeing her just go through the struggle, you know, not being able to, you know, really feed the kids and you know keep a car and the struggle was really real back then and mm -hmm. I just always wanted more but mm -hmm. the field that I thought that God wanted me to do was nursing okay. because right out of high school I went into nursing I was doing private duty went back to school um, I was actually going to BCC for RN okay. registered nurse I worked eight years in the operating room but I knew that it was more. When you see your parents grow up like that, you just knew it was more. Yeah. Um, I didn't let, I always say I didn't let my past dictate my future because yes. people would make excuses yes. to yeah. say, you know, because I didn't have a father figure, you know, my mother really didn't have, that that would actually say that I couldn't be successful. And that I wasn't that individual. Mm -hmm. I always wanted more. I had a desire. I had a burning yes. feeling that God had more for me. Yes. And I can just tell you, um, in the world, I mean, in the you know, nursing field. Back in 2009, okay. I got introduced to network marketing sales. Okay. Never okay. knew I had the experience. Like I said, I always just did, you know, nursing, mm -hmm. working, always private duty, working in a doctor's office, working in the operating room, you know, mm -hmm. and I got into sales and I was really good with sales. Okay, um, actually was very successful at one of the companies, a health and wellness company, where I actually became, you know, a top producer in South Florida, and I actually saw my first six figures that first year. Wow. So that nice. was amazing. Not only that, but it opened up a door. I mean, getting a job, you know, that first year at the operating room, I realized that I wanted to be a homeowner. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at the age of 28, I brought my first home. Okay. Didn't know awesome. much about buying a home. Awesome. Think about it. You don't know dad and your mom never brought a home. Mm -hmm. So I always wanted to do something more that she did not do. Yes. Okay. And I can make, to make a long story short, I can tell you buying that first investment, I actually connected with some gentlemen and they showed me how to actually invest in other properties. Mm -hmm. So I was able okay. to acquire seven properties back then. We're talking about at the age of 28 years old. Okay. The market was really good. And back in 2008, 2009, the whole market crashed. Okay. So I was someone, the reason why I see I qualified, because guess what? I would say that I am the proof in the pudding. Yeah. I, I, I had, you know, eight properties. Uh -huh. I lost eight properties. So I know the importance of having good credit to having bad credit. Yeah. But I can always say there's a second chance. Yeah. Because yeah. guess what? <laughs> you don't have to say where you are mm -hmm. because when I look at myself now, you know, going through that whole transition, I look at myself now and I say, you know what? I was able to get back up. I always say, if you can look up, you can get up. Okay. And so just to kind of rewind what happened um, with that, I was able a couple of years ago to go back, get my real estate license now. So I'm actually a realtor. Okay. Actually, I'm a part of a financial education service company that I started back in 2014. Mm -hmm 
Well, actually, I am a six-figure earner. So you can see you can go from the bottom, and God can bring you back yes. up. <laughs> so I can just say I'm back now into real estate, you know, doing some investments now. Okay. Um, not only that, but I always had a passion about, because of my lifestyle, the things that, you know, I went through as a little girl, mm -hmm. and the things, the bad decisions that I made, I always wanted to be able to give back to young women. Right. Mm -hmm. To let them know that there's still hope out there. You don't have to say where you are. So I would say I always about six years. But I always wanted to just, you know, be able to have like a seminar, be able to give back, yeah. to be able to help them restore their credit, you know, like a charity to be able to bring them together to help them get home. So I can say God has granted me back, well, no, this year, 2016, that I launched my first Who Am I? <laughs> I Am a Survivor conference. Yes. yes. Well, that was Power 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 yes. Oh, so, my goodness. I can tell you, I am yes. just excited and um this whole the women you know on an admission women on assignment yeah that we're actually answering the call we're walking into purpose now because sometime in life you could just go about doing your own thing mm -hmm. but are you really you know giving back to god people what he has you here on earth okay. to do so i would say i don't want to die with my passion my destiny on the inside mm -hmm. but i do want to be able to help someone else get up and birth out what they need to birth forth to all right. Awesome. <laughs> that was powerful. That was powerful. Wow. Um, well, so how would you answer that question, you know? Well, <laughs> I look at it this way, ladies. Um, when I was asked, I say, you know, I want to be a life coach. I mm -hmm. wanted to be a money coach. Yeah. Um, I have been in the banking industry for over 17 years. I've seen wealthy people. I've seen doctors. Mm -hmm. I've seen lawyers. I've seen um, millenniums. You know, the people that are fresh coming out of college, I've seen so many different things. And um, the one thing that I know, you know, the market crashed yes. when the real estate market, so all of us had all those properties. We <laughs> thought we was doing it, right? Yes. We were going to become wealthy, well, yeah. right? <laughs> Transformation, you know about yeah. that too, right? Yes. Yes. So all of us have um, taken the chance and mm -hmm. risked and, and invested in property. Yes. And, you know, we had some great credit scores and, and, you know, we lost a lot of properties as well. So um, my story is no different than yours. Um, and no different than Leslie's uh, investing in real estate property. But my thing was, I wanted to make an impact. See, people live behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. And I always talk about this mask. Yes. So, you know, we look good walking around. And yeah, you know yes. what? The new concert coming out, the new Jordans coming yeah. out. We want all those different things, right? So we struggle yeah. and provide those things for our kids. Yes. But really, our finances are jacked up. I, I see it. That. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. um... Mm -hmm. So my thing was, and I, I, I'm particular about using the word wealth. Yeah. I don't promote that I am going to introduce you to wealth. What I do um, basically mm -hmm. share is that I am going to help you get back on track. Yeah. Yeah. See, I need mindset. I need yeah. to help transform your mindset. Mm -hmm. And one of the exercises I do was to, let's take a look at your house. Let's take a look at your car. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at all the clutter. Because if you clutter there, guess what? Your finances are cluttered. Yes. I know y'all don't believe that. I, I agree. But guess what? That's I all you, you clean your house, house guess yeah. what? You, then you're hair free. Yes. And then you can transform your finances yes. and other things so you're open to receiving what I have to pour into you. Ooh, so, yes. okay. So, um, I have lived from paycheck to paycheck. I've been, I have lived from negative count to negative count. So, <laughs> some people have known my struggle, you know, right. going through a divorce, right. you yes. know, and wow. um, losing properties and mm -hmm. all those different things and when I was able to finally come up with a strategy and a plan to transform my finances mm -hmm. and to be able to um, just position you know now that my son is married and different things like that and then helping them to get financially set mm -hmm. and you know what at first they weren't a believer of my plan either uh -huh. but when they saw the transformation start taking place they was like okay you can start handling my stuff too <laughs> right. so right. um, just sharing my experience you know your experience Experience alone qualifies you exactly. to be able to teach and coach other people out. Yes. yes. So that's the, yeah. that you know that's what I really want to share. Yeah. That's right. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Who else can tell the better than you, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and you know, then I, I just want to go here. Even being an ordained minister, mm -hmm. you know, people say, "Well, how can God use you? Mm -hmm. Why you?" Mm -hmm. Well, I told God, guess what? I was a willing vessel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was a high price to pay mm -hmm. because I dealt with a lot of rejection. I couldn't fit in with people. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just so glad that it's happened in my later years, but I became confident in who I am. 
And guess who helped me get there? My mentor and my coach. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to spend money and pour it to yourself yeah, to get the things that you need. Sometimes we, you know, we think we can do it on our own. We can do it on our own. And then some people that think that that don't think that they need a coach yeah. really do need, need a coach. A coach. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs. So you the credit coach, <laughs> and you the credit queen, yeah. and you the investment queen, <laughs> and I am the money coach. So okay. I am ready. So y'all, ladies, y'all ready to bring this thing on in? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm so excited. Just, I'm oh my super God. excited to be able to I answer am. the call, the vision that God has given us to actually right. be able to put it into full action. Right. Can you go ahead and share a little bit about how we got started? How did all this? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Sorry, both of you guys. We were wow. actually over at Lazy House one late night, and yes. a late night, late yeah. late night, and we were just talking about business. And I think we're in the middle of getting ready to Lazy House is getting ready to be sold, so, right? And mm -hmm. we were there, and we were with um, Pastor Carol, and yes. we were just there, and we started praying, and the word was released that night that um, we we're going to be doing some great things in the community, women on a assignment, women on assignment. Yes. to be able to help others, and um, that was. This year, that was, that was in, actually I looked because I wrote everything down mm -hmm. in the journal, so I looked at the date, and that was March the fourth of this March year, twenty sixteen of this year. Wow! So wow. look at that. Wow! Yes! Wow! So and you know it's interesting that we say that because that happened in March, but and then we started. We kept you know when God gives you something, sometimes you know we're all so busy. And we're, all right, listen, hold hold that thought, Lakeisha, because we have to take a quick break to pay these bills. So these these sponsors they want their money. <laughs> they won't make money. Look, let me write a budget for that. <laughs> you know, that's what you do that, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Feel cancer dieting. Don't you wish you had more energy? Are aches and pains slowing you down? Now is the time to give Nucentral a try. Nucentral products are made from natural ingredients formulated to heal the body from inside out. Our products are held to the highest standards of quality and provide 100% daily vitamins and nutrients for all. Go ahead now to turn back that aging clock. Try New Central's today. Brenda Solomon, New Central representative and success. Music coach. presents brand new album by Daniel Musgrove on Bending Knees in store now. Pick up your copies at iTunes, eMusic, Amazon MP3, Google Play, or wherever music is digitally sold. You will be blessed. Follow Musgrove Music on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube for all our latest releases. Musgrove Music, where praising God is our business, and business is good. And we're back. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Now, ladies, I just have one question for you. Are you guys ready to take this financial freedom party on the road? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, honey. Yeah. We're ready. We're ready. All right, ready. all right. Ready. So I, I think the um, the audience would like to know a little bit about what is the financial freedom party? Because we like to party. Look, we do yeah. party a little bit, right? We, we love to have a good time. <laughs> yes. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> financial freedom party. Well, basically, um, our financial freedom party was where we like to teach people how to leverage what we call their math. Yes. And you might be thinking, math, but what is math? Well, math is your money, your assets, and your credit. Yes. So that's what we do at our financial freedom party. We teach you how to leverage those things so you can live a life that you know you deserve. Absolutely. And let me ask you, when is your next financial freedom party? Well, our next financial freedom party is actually Friday. What's the date of Friday? Friday 21st. coming up. Friday coming up, October 21st. And it is, the doors open at 6 p.m. for networking, and the event starts at 7 p.m. Now, don't ask me what the address is, because I have no idea. However, you can go on our Facebook page, I, Leslie Thomas Mitchell on Facebook, on Instagram, I'm the credit coach. Uh, what's your what's your social media? I am Lakeisha Mary on Facebook and on Instagram. I am um, underscore the underscore credit queen. <laughs> and I am Shimona Wembley on Facebook and success underscore strategist on Instagram. When I'm on, she probably knows the address. You know the address of the place, Mom. Unfortunately, I don't. But so sorry. you can go on our social media site and you can if get you, the address. Would you like me to get the address? If you have it, definitely sure. go right ahead. Get the address so that we can actually get Look, What would we do without our smartphones, right? Oh, yes. Isn't that something? 
So what yes. does it, let me ask you, is that event a free event open to the public? It oh, is, it is I'm absolutely, glad you asked. It is absolutely <laughs> free. Absolutely. Um, we have free food. Um, it's free networking. You want to come out and just network with like-minded individuals. You know, there are people from, you know, who are realtors, insurance brokers, tax you know, just all different type of people there who are really on the same mission, really just want to improve their financial situation. Right. So definitely come out, bring some friends, just, you know, because we, we have a party, we have a good time. Believe that. You learn, but you have fun at the same time. Oh, you yeah. learn and you earn. You learn and you earn. <laughs> <That's what laughs> <I'm talking. laughs> so here we go. The address, actually the event is this Friday, October the 21st. The address is, for well, the name of the location. It is Great Escape at 3325 Northeast 32nd Street, and that is in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Again, that is 3325 Northeast 32nd Street. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We want to see you guys there. Come out, come yes. out. Yes, yes, yes. I think it's good. Even with, you know, someone that is actually, we also um, educate you on if you're looking to buy your first home or even mm -hmm. if you have a home, I can show you how you can actually put all the steps in place to actually be able to become a homeowner. Even if you own a home, how you could actually, you know, leverage your assets that you have to start investing, making right. a cash flow. So you can leave a legacy behind for your kids and their kids. So exactly. I'm excited about that. Yes. I'm excited too. I'm super excited. Look, I know I jumped on board a little late on the investments, getting back into the investment, but I'm going to catch up real quick. All I had to do was say, yes. look, I wanted to see the money and I saw the money. Uh -huh. Chee 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 chee. Okay, ching, ching. number three, I'm running a little late, but guess what? I'm going to catch You're up with you. Yes, I'm in. <laughs> yes. Make it now yes. Yes, absolutely. I agree. Absolutely. I totally agree. So, okay, absolutely. all right. So, what else, young ladies? What else? Hey, I, I have a um, question for you. Uh -huh. What are some other things that um, our audience can expect from us? Great. Mm -hmm. We have some special guests that's going to appear on the show. Uh -huh. Yeah, we, you know, the thing we're talking about is we want this show to really be about, you know, we talk about, you know, investing and getting your money right and um, making sure your credit is right. But we also, you know, want to talk to, you know, you about, you know, you may have a burning desire to start a business. You know, yes. I'm a business owner. We're going to be having, you know, how did I start my business? How did I just step out on faith and leave my nine to five corporate America job? Um, at the drop of a hat and just open up a, and start my own business. So we're going to be talking about, you know, that may be a passion you have, writing a book or doing a play or starting a clothing line. So we're going to be having just some phenomenal, you know, individuals come on the show, you know, who are expert in those fields and, you know, just empowering us and, you know, each other and, and all of you with just different things that, you know, because we want to look at the whole picture, the whole you. So we're, you know, because as I say, you know, we're looking at the mindset, we're looking at, you know, your spiritual being. We're looking at your financial well-being. So just a total package is really what, you know, our show is really going to be about. Absolutely. You know, looking at the whole you, basically. Yes. And us at the same time. <laughs> we're just keeping it real on this show now. <laughs> on this show. Yes, okay, keep it real. Well, one person that I know that I wanted to invite onto yeah. the show was Coach Cass. Coach Cass, you, uh, um, I'm sorry, is my relationship coach. Okay, okay. So I know people say, well, she had to hire a relationship coach to get together. Yes. Yeah. Because guess what? I got tired of dating the wrong people, mm -hmm. and I wanted to find out, you know what? Was there anything wrong with me? Okay. But guess what? Y'all don't like the new me. Hmm. Wow. Keep it real. Wow. <laughs> Cass, um, I invited her on to the show um, to be, you know, one of our special guests. And I know awesome. we have um, Muhammad, Muhammad Ali's ex-wife um, will be also on the show. I'm excited um, about that. Me too. Yes, wow. and yes. Um, yes. yes, you know, so many different people. And let's say this: if you would like to be a special guest for our show, just reach out to one of us. And also, if you have a clothing line or any type of business that you would like to promote. Reach out to us, and we will be more than happy to give you a shout out on the show. Exactly, because we need some sponsors. Yeah, yes. we got to pay, pay for this show. Honey, we got to pay these bills. Yeah, <laughs> you know, those financial freedom parties, those free, those free, <laughs> and they cost. You know what? We have it at a high end place. It's right there on right on, on the, the beach. beach on a one eight. Once a month, I think yes. God has put in a position to be able to, to give back. Yes. Hey, so Keish, I, I remember you had to get a life coach. Why don't you share some of your experiences? 
you know, when you got your life coach. About my life coach, I can definitely tell you it is definitely needed a life coach because I can tell you I had a burning desire to always wanted to do a women's conference just to be able to give back to women. And that desire has actually probably been six years, mm -hmm. seven years, always talking about it. But you can talk about something, but you're just not taking that action and moving forward. So I had to actually hire a life coach. Someone like you said, that's accountable, mm -hmm. you know, and be able to help me, you know, be able to birth, birth the women's conference. When she sat down with me, the first thing that she did was mindset mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. my mind to, mm -hmm. you know, where it needed to be. Second of all, she spoke to me about why did I want to do it? Mm -hmm. What was I looking for my audience to get after they leave, you mm -hmm. know, the women's conference? And I can tell you, sometimes you think it's so hard when you say you want to write your book or you want to start your own business right. or do a conference. It's really not because you have to invest, exactly, you know, in order to be able to do something different. And I didn't mind investing. It was different. Um, she really put some things out of me that I really didn't know that was man there doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I can tell you we started working and... Things just fell in place. We're talking yes. about less than three or four months. We had a conference, I mean, a very nice mm -hmm. conference, yes. about 75 to 100 women. Um, yes. Now I'm actually working on my next project with her. Mm -hmm. That was a very successful, um, you know, event there. Yeah. So now I always had a passion that I wanted to share my story with women to let them know where I started from, all the things that I went through, and to where I am in Christ right now. Awesome. So I am yes. working with her now. Um, Miss Lakeisha Dixon out of Atlanta, Georgia, to be able now to be able to birth my first book. It's going to be the first book. So I think it's very important yeah. that we all get a life coach to really coach you, you know, to that book, to start your own business, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. whatever it is that you have a burning desire. Mm -hmm. I always say, do not die with that book on the inside of you. Do not die with that business on the inside of you. Exactly. Things that God have told you That's to true. do. Yeah. So I'm so happy that I actually hired her you know, and it doesn't mean that she's just there just because I actually, you know, birthed that event. Mm -hmm. I'm writing a book. But you should mm -hmm. always have a life coach to check on you, especially with me, with my busy schedule, you know, with my financial education service business, with my life, you know, other things that I have going on. Just don't want to be accountable. They, they check in on you. They see mm -hmm. what's the next thing that you're doing. But one thing that I did learn um, with that life coach, you know, sometimes, you want to do this, you want to do this, you want to do that, but you got to start somewhere. Exactly. Start somewhere. And mm -hmm. I just thank God that I took that faith of, I mean, that, that leap of faith yes. to say, you know what, I got to get this life coach. So I strongly recommend everyone, you need to get a life coach. Well, listen, it is time for us to end our show. But before we go, we want to sincerely thank you yes. for tuning in to our very first episode of Women on Assignment right here on Musgrove Music TV. We want to invite you all out. We're going to be here every Monday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, hey, listen, tell your friends, tell your family, hit us up on Instagram, on Facebook, because we want to see you right back here next week, Monday. Yes. Thank you guys for Thank joining. You. I thought you was going to say, now back to work. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no that's part of the joke. Not back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you start joke. Yes. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop Here at Reggae Land Music, we carry the latest releases from indie artists such as Daniel Musgrove. The greatest story that was ever told over 2,000 years ago. We stock the latest reggae, gospel reggae, and more. Hard to find vinyl, Studio One, Treasure Isle, etc. You can find us on the web on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and you can make your purchases at reggaelandmusic.com. You can also call us at 954-987-7779. Reggae Land Music. The place you want to be, baby. Hi, my name is Short Slime, your professional tax repair. Here at Taxes, Taxes, Taxes USA, you can get your business tax, personal tax, bookkeeping, 
visit us at taxec number 3 usacom Give me a call, 754-333-1040. Taxes, taxes, taxes USA. The tax expert on your side. And we're open to the public all year round. I'm Anthony Mayo, a lawyer at Traffic Ticket Office. For the past 20 years, our firm has successfully handled over 1 million traffic violations for our clients in Dave, Broward, and Palm Beach County. Our firm handles all non-criminal violations starting at just $69, and we guarantee no points or your money back. We also handle all types of criminal violations. Our goal is to get your case dismissed. Call us today at 305-751-6881 or visit us on the web at TrafficTicketOffice.com. Come on to the Traffic Ticket Office! Ma 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 scroll music.